I'm genuinely not trying to become the UK's Hoovies garage. That's never going to happen. But it seems like that way because of all of these cheapest type videos that I'm doing. But although I plan a few things on YouTube, this is another one of those things, similar to when I bought the Range Rover, that quite simply wasn't planned. But yeah, you can see I'm standing next to a 2003, so a facelift, Boxster S, the 986 generation, and of course, from Porsche. And as it happens, when I bought this, and I know this doesn't take into account things that are maybe in really bad condition, non-runners, spares, repairs, but when I bought this car, it was the cheapest on the market on Auto Trader, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. I didn't see anything listed cheaper with an engine. I paid £3,800 for this absolutely stunning Boxster S. It's in silver with a blue fabric roof and a blue interior, which I adore. And it is in a wonderful, wonderful condition. And I'm super, super happy with it. Purchasing this car was spontaneous to say the very least. Now this sounds really pathetic, but the truth is, the other night, and this was two nights ago, I went to the pub with my girlfriend um, and I saw an Audi R8 in the car park. And it just struck me then that I sort of missed having a two-seater sports car. For those of you that have uh, been watching the channel previously, you'll know that literally two videos ago, I sold my BMW Z4, and that was only just over a week ago at the time of recording this video. And the reason I sold that Z4 in large part was because I didn't use it. I'm living in London with lots of speed bumps and 20 mile an hour zones. And quite simply having a two-seater sports car was the worst imaginable thing. But what have I done? Well, as I was saying, we were at the pub. I saw an Audi R8. I thought I really want a sports car. So as you do, or as I do, opened up Auto Trader, just looked at box dresses because I've always liked these. I really have. And there was one five miles away for £4,000. And you've got to bear in mind, especially now during COVID, the used car market is crazy. I am always looking at box dresses amongst tons of other cars. And it's rare to see one for less than £7,000 even in this sort of spec, in this sort of condition, and with this sort of history that this car has. And so at four grand, I had to call up the chap straight away. Seemed reasonable. It was actually being held at a very, very reputable storage facility. And so I had no worries going into it next day went to check the car had a look round had a drive and i had to buy it didn't i and <laughs> i don't know why i've bought it but i love it and i think genuinely this is going to present an interesting opportunity uh, for some videos because obviously having owned a z4 for four years lots of you guys who own z4s if you haven't all unsubscribed because i know lots of you like to tell me that you did you might find it interesting to see how I find the Boxster S. We're slightly up on power from the Z4 with this. Actually, it's basically the same as an SI model Z4 with 260 brake horsepower. This isn't limited, it will do 166. Not that I'm gonna be able to test that today, but I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely stunning. Let's take the car for a drive. I'll explain a little bit more about why I bought it. That's more or less it though, to be honest. I just, it was very pathetic and spontaneous and I just, I just bought it, had the Z4 sold, was happy to have the money and then just used it on this. So let's get in the car, let's go for a drive and I'll waffle a bit more. Okay, so here in my Porsche Boxster S, I actually can't believe that. I feel so, so lucky, genuinely. It's quite amazing, wow. Um, I will just say at this point, actually, it's a little bit of a punt, this car. So if you are interested in more content on uh, this, this car, Comment below and let me know what you want to see first and foremost. But if you give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already, and don't worry, if you're already subscribed, you're included here, I will give away to one of the commenters a £25 Amazon gift voucher. Congratulations to those of you that won from a couple of videos ago as well, as someone on Instagram and someone on YouTube. Congratulations. Also, if you go and follow me over on Instagram, I do regular giveaways there too. So, yeah, here we go. Let's start it up. I love first and foremost how the key or ignition is up here. All the warning lights come on, uh, measurement uh, of oil goes for five seconds and then that lovely little Porsche purr from the flat six behind my head, because of course this is mid-engine. And a great advantage of the fact that this is mid-engine, apart from all of the driving dynamics that it gives you, is the fact that we have two boots. Uh, controlled from a couple of buttons down here, boot the front, 
loop at the rear. Very, very convenient. We'll look into all of this sort of boring stuff more as we go down the line, but let's just give it a little drive now as the sun goes down. I apologise it's quite dark. Before we go anywhere, of course, let's get this roof off. So windows go down automatically, that's nice and handy. You have to do the press and the clip there, and then... A nice electronic motor does the rest. Amazing that everything is working in this car. In fact, the air conditioning is blowing super cold, which is really lovely. It's been hot, 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 hot today. Anyway, let's turn that down so we can just enjoy this car. This screams all the way up to 7,000 RPM, this car. And it really still picks up very nicely. As you can probably tell immediately from the cameras, it's a little bit rattly, this car. Now, I don't know if that's because it's this car. Uh, but I have been in boxes before and they are very firm. Uh, in comparison to something like the Z4 road, very firm. This just takes the biscuit. Um, it is very firm indeed. I believe the tyres that this car is on are actually pretty old, like very old, like 15 years old. So that will certainly contribute to the harshness of this ride right now.
You've still got all the original controls here in the middle. You do have this disgusting Arrow Bluetooth device, which I've already got another solution for. So I need to work out how to get rid of that off my dashboard. But apart from that, that's really it here. We don't have cruise control, we don't have heated seats. We don't have much. We've got a six-speed manual gearbox, a roof that comes down, a big old rev cage. Rev cage? Rev gauge in front of me with three pedals. And I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. I mean, I picked this car up yesterday, so, you know, it's very early to say that. But, so far, I'm very pleased with my purchase. And I think for the price I paid, and I guess, I, well, I hope you guys would agree, I've done quite well. I feel like I've done quite well. Thank you.